something called Dragon Erotica. There is of course there is, because rule 34, yes. if it exists, there is porn of it. Do, 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 rule 34. And that is true, and there is Dragon Erotica. Now, we- uh, Frozen, can we also get a sound drop of what I just did for rule 34, just in case we ever cover any weird porn? Oh, God, yeah. We'll, <laughs> All right, we'll, I will put that on the list. We've never done that. So that does bring us to our um, that does bring us to our new segment here on the show, which is welcome to the Dregworks Master Beta the- the- Peace Theater. <laughs> Join Rob and Royce as they venture through the vivid fictional landscapes of literature. Written by some of the most celebrated post-culture war authors. <clears throat> so, uh, thank you, by the way, for that intro. Um, <clears throat> I will be vaping like this for this segment. So. <laughs> thank you. Um, we found a book. We um, found quite a novel. We do, by the way, I like to say I found a book, but there's a lot of books. So, um, the book is called Taming the Dragon by Christy Sims. And you know it's going to be really, really good because it's a 3D render of some artwork of a girl with a a very small dragon. Yes, it's going to be good. So, we're going to do some, I think, nice little erotic reading. um, Yep. uh, We're going to need some nice music to go just to get you guys in the mood, you know? This is what I like to fuck to. All right, let's. Well, it is it is dragon stuff. So let's uh, <laughs> let's do this. Uh, I'll start off because uh, you I give I give you guys screenshots. So I'll just we're gonna jump around. Um, but I will just start this so you know what's what's happening at the beginning here. It's called Taming the Dragon. Uh, let's see here. Let's start with this. Okay, first off, I need to let you guys know that all rights are reserved. Okay. On this one. Every one of them. All right. All rights are reserved. Uh, <clears throat> Vanya coaxed a little more speed out of her stallion. He was sweating, tiring fast as she urged him towards the scatter of campfires ahead. Dusk was long, past, and only a silver of the moon was above. And the firelight ahead kept the darkness at bay. Vanya intended to reach the encampment at the forest edge before the predators, two-footed, four gathered and attacked her so that's where we're at at the story vanya is this buxom lady that you're seeing up here um i'm I'm jumping around to another chapter here when presented with a human female the dragon's instincts would drive it to mount wait we should read the description of this book oh sure of course let's hold on let let, let me uh let me I'll get. Oh, wait a minute. Is it in the uh, yeah, I Discord? It. It's in there. Okay, let, let me. Re- I'll read that and then you can continue reading. Absolutely. Um, I'm sorry. We should definitely read the synopsis. I apologize. That's right. Let me see. Point. Uh, let's see here. The description. It's on, by the way, it's on Amazon, guys. And if you have Kindle, you could get it. Yes, you could yeah. be so lucky. Okay. <clears throat> Vanya is a dragon tamer. When a wild dragon is captured, Vanya must soothe it into submission. (laughs) Only women can tame dragons because only women can connect with the beasts on an instinctive level. By mating with them, the women gain control over the dragon. Then Vanya is ordered to tame a particularly large and cunning dragon. Vanya approaches him confidently, stripping off her clothes, but he's so big, bigger than any other dragon she has tamed. Does Vanya have the strength, the courage, and the endurance to tame this beast? When presented with a human female, the dragon's instincts would drive it to mount her. In the overwhelming rush to orgasm, the dragon bonded with the woman he fucked. Good writing, fellas. By the time dragon's lusts were satisfied, the dragon saw the woman as his mate, his territory, to be protected and cherished. Only a woman could command a dragon. Regretfully, no. We are in Commander Olsen's debt. 
Uh, now they talk about how big the beast is, so we're going to skip ahead here. Now, Rob, I do have a screenshot of this if you want to take over, right where it says moaned. At the very top, it says moaned. It says moaned. Okay. <clears throat> so I'll start there. Yeah, go like ahead. Mr. Right there. You're right there. You're good there. Okay. So she moaned yes. and stroked her hand, stroked her hand over the sensitive flesh, swirling her fingers in the slick, musky fluid. Is the music still going? Yeah, it's going. I just don't feel right without it. It's going. Like, okay, now I can hear it. There you go. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. She used her slick hand. You already used the word slick. It's Shouldn't use it. Not great writing, right? Not great writing? I wonder if this was self-published. Yeah. Gee, you think? <laughs> I paid two dollars for this shit, dog. <laughs> all right, so fuck all of you. I paid for this. Once we make enough money in this stream, I will make up for half of that. I told you. Someone donated she used, a thousand dollars. She shut up. She used. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your sacrifice, Royce. Thank you. She used her slick hand to stroke the dragon's cock. <laughs> Coaxing it out of its sheath. It was massive, rigid, and unyielding. Vanya marveled at its size and reminded herself to be cautious. If she lost control of this encounter, the drive to mate would overwhelm Red, and his cock could tear her to pieces. She took a deep breath and licked at the smooth tip, lapping at the dripping fluid and Don't pressing her tongue into the sensitive slit. Don't make the noises. The dragon hissed. I don't like that. Vanya slid her fingers between her legs and stroked her pussy, <laughs> letting the scent of her wet heat mingle with the dragon's musk. <laughs> Red's hips started to rock as he tried desperately to push more of himself into her mouth. Oh, get over here, you fucking bitch! Oh, fuck you, yeah, take more of it in your mouth! Vanya slicked her hand. You slicked again. Slicked her hands in his fluid and made a sheath, yet again, of her hands while her lips and tongue worked the tip of his cock. <laughs> He whined, thrusting into her grip. Vanya's cunt throbbed. <laughs> and she moaned around the flesh of her mouth. Okay, I'll continue. No, His I cock was, was okay. so big, maybe too big, but she wanted it. She wanted him to mount her or to crouch on his back legs while she rode him, while she writhed and moved on that thick shaft until she screamed her release. <laughs> this dragon was hers. His cock was hers. The dragon growled, hips snapping cock suddenly so hot that it burned. Vanya moaned as he came, jets of cum <laughs> splashing her yes. face and her breasts. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, yeah, my tits. <laughs> her tongue flicked out and she licked at the bitter cum on her lips. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's kind of bitter. The dragon sighed, relaxing, and Vanya slid out from underneath him. She took a deep breath of cooler air as she pulled herself to her feet. Naked, covered in dragon cum, she strode toward the gods who huddled near the edge of the clearing, their faces filled with horrified fascination. The key, she demanded. Without a word, shocked into compliance, one of the men handed her the keys to the dragon's shackles. Hmm. I'd say that's good, right? That's good. Uh, <clears throat> she was so sore, so sore that she lay on a leaf litter, enjoying a cool night air and the warm from Red's bodies. The dragon craned his neck until he could nuzzle her with his snout. 
Vanya laughed. No more, she told him firm, firmly. <laughs> Why does it sound like Elmo? Because that's what, what does Vanya sound like? <laughs> that's what she sounds like. She told him firmly. I'm done for the night. <laughs> if it's Elmo, it's funnier, I think. <clears throat> I, I lost my place. I got to start again. The dragon craned his neck until he could nuzzle with his snout. Vanya laughed. <laughs> no more. <laughs> and she told him firmly, I'm done for the night. <laughs> he purred and began to it laugh. It sounds like some kid just won't stop tickling the elbow. The elbow's like, come on, man. Can we go to bed now? Please? Leave me alone. <laughs> he purred and began to lap at her sticky skin, licking her clean. When he reached her pussy, Red thrust his tongue inside and lapped out every drop of his cum. Yeah. Oh, he drank his own cum out of her? Yeah. Oh, what uh, a kinky dragon. Fucking Chad, here's your crown, king. Uh, his contented... Save some of your cum for the rest of us. God. His contented oh. slurping made Vanya giggle. <laughs> Even as she, this shuddered. is literally tickle me Elmo lines. <laughs> yep. Like this is all tickle me Elmo. <laughs> and she shuddered under strokes of his tongue. Ew. When Red seemed convinced that she was clean inside, he turned his attention back to her skin. He swiped his, his he swiped his tongue over her mound, laving her clit <laughs> until she was humping against him, <laughs> riding and moaning. He purred and curled his rough tongue around her clit, squeezing and massaging. With the wail, <laughs> Vanya arched against his snout and shuddered through another orgasm. <laughs> she collapsed, trembling, as her dragon cleaned her diligently. When she was clean to his satisfaction, Red grunted and settled beside her, chin on his foreclaws. Vanya considered making her way to camp, or at least as far as the soldiers who guarded the clearing. She thought about the horrified fascination inside. Pushing herself up to her elbows, Vanya wondered if Red would let her leave. The first time she had lain with a dragon, the possessive creature had refused to let her out of her sight for days. She later reported the dragon for rape. The end. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What's a Shyamalan twist on that one, huh? Not really, Didn't actually. I was that. expecting that. She is a white woman, right? <laughs> Fair point. Fair point. <laughs> Guys, I believe in love now. Mm hmm I think we all believe in love. I think that love truly does exist, and I think that is right? proof. Yep. Dreams can't come true, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. And so can dragons. They can come also. A lot. A lot more than you'd expect. Mm -hmm. They really like the taste of their own cum, with, apparently. With They're Elmo. really big on that. Yeah, with Elmo. With tickle me, Elmo. Love fucking dragon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough. Let me go to bed. Jesus Christ, stop touching me. <laughs> <clears throat> Told you it was my belly that's ticklish. Not, not down there. <laughs> Tick tickle me, anus. <laughs> the Elmo's just with this perverted little kid. This is whatever, man. <laughs> I bought this Elmo doll, but it's like eyes are squinty. It's really <laughs> creepy. <laughs> yeah, that's that. The squinty eyed one's called Ricker Me Elmo. Um, it's called Asian, Frozen Asian. Sorry, Frozen. 